In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can color grade with only using the curves. I've got this clip here. It was shot in red. First thing I did was add a CST. The color space I'm working in, I changed to red, so I don't need a CST at the start. We're already working in red. And then this CST is changing it from red to Rec 709. So that's the first step. Then I started looking at contrast. So we're only gonna use the curves here. I created this type of contrast with my editable splines turned on and I got here. So I moved from here to there. Sometimes I find it's a bit tricky to know if your contrast is correct, if the saturation is still there, because it still kind of doesn't look good. But on a contrast level, I think this looks good. Let me show you how I usually do it. I like to work in monochromatic when I do contrast. And I just go here and then I say monochrome. And then I can see on a contrast level, does it look good? Because when you start adding saturation, it can kind of play tricks with your eye. So let's just do this monochromatic as well. Let's just see the difference between this note on and off. So this is from the CST and this is the contrast I added and I like that. So I'll just turn off the monochrome. So we'll go back here. You can see the shot super red. So in the balance node, in my curves on the red, I just pull it down and I landed here. And you can even see in the vector, like it's super red. It's really pushed in that direction. And then if I pull it back, it's a bit more of a balanced type of shot. And then I moved to saturation. I added a bit more yellow and I brought down the luminance of my reds. Usually you'll see in like type of cinematic type of grades, the red isn't really bright. It's usually kind of dark. And so you'll see up here, I pull down the luminance of the reds. And then the second saturation node, I played with the sat versus luma. The more saturated your colors, the brighter it's gonna get, depending on where, or darker it's gonna get, depending on this. Because what I wanted to do here is I also wanted to decrease the luminance in the most saturated areas. That's how this graph works. Saturated versus luma. If you pull this thing down, your more saturated areas are gonna get darker. And if you pull this thing up, your more saturated areas are gonna get lighter. And you'll see what this does. It just darkens up these guys, these reds a bit more, this highlights. Cause I want the focus more to be on them. I don't want you to look at this and then your eyes just go to these lanterns at the top. And then my second adjustment or my trim, I felt it was missing something. So I went back into my curves and I pulled down a bit on the blue to add a bit more green. And you can see it here, just to add a bit more color to the shot. Next up, what I did was I attacked the blacks. I don't want any color spillage to be in the darkest areas of my shot or my clip. So the luminance versus set, that means the luminance on the left side is the darkest to the lightest and the saturation is the least saturation to the most saturation. So if I pull this thing down, what happens is I'm telling Da Vinci in my clip where it's the darkest, I want the least amount of saturation. And what that does is it just kind of takes some heat off even more of these reds and also cleans up my blacks a bit. And then what I did was I kind of cheated a bit because I know I said I was only going to use curves. I did, but I also used windows to shape the light of it because this shot's nice. I kind of like where it's sitting especially like on the saturation you see the reds and the yellows are the same saturation the blues are kind of there so it's kind of it feels like a balanced shot saturation wise there's not one color just overpowering the shot but my eye is still kind of going everywhere and what i did here was i brought down this so i made a window here in my curves i not editable splines, I pull down. So just this shot, this alone is putting a lot of focus on them. And I felt like he was getting a bit dark here. Added another mask. So it's focusing on this area. Went to the curves and pulled it up and ended up with that. You'll also see I pulled it up here and I felt like after pulling up the shadows, it kind of washed it out a bit. So I pulled down the, this guy so that the blacks just felt a bit more like black, if that makes sense. It's like if I show you here, like here, it feels a little bit washed out to me. So I just kind of pull that back a little bit to there. So we have before and after. Then I also saw just in the clip itself, this flickering. So just to show you what I would have done 
in this clip. This doesn't have to do with curves, but you have to kind of tackle this deflickering. So I just added a deflicker node in the effects tool, just kept it on time lapse, and you'll see it takes away this flicker. And then lastly, also doesn't have to do with curves, but I think it's important just to kind of tie it together. You can see there's a lot of noise here, and it's because this is a 422 HQ file. And to tackle that, I just go noise reduction and I try and use the least amount of noise reduction, the least amount, you can see it's doing a lot, but I don't wanna blur out their faces. So that's important. So I'm just playing with the noise reduction until this feels really nice and it doesn't really affect their faces. And then you've got this shot, which I feel works really well. It feels very balanced to me. So with all of that, we went from, from, from here. This is the clip after changing it to Rec 709. And then all our adjustments with the curves, we landed here. And that's how you can use curves to grade your project.